Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're posing the question, is, a, is it possible for somebody under 50 to get a retirement visa? I thought of making this video after reading a recent comment on our channel, quoting directly, is it ever possible for a person under 50 years old to get a retirement visa in Thailand? For example, a, a military retiree who has verifiable income but is still under 50 years old. Yeah. I get this a lot and I really, you know, I'm very, I love the vets. I, what can I say? I, I hear this a lot from vets because vets who've done a full career, a full military career oftentimes, whatever branch of the service in the United States, I usually deal with folks who've been in a United States situation. But again, I've, I've dealt with folks that were in the Commonwealth as well as the UK, uh, some folks from Europe over the years that were also in the military, career military. They tend to retire pretty young and they're oftentimes under 50 and this is not a particularly rare question that I get from those folks, but long story short, yeah, 50 is the hard and fast cutoff for the retirement visas. This is the O retirement visa or the OA retirement visa. 50 is a hard and fast rule. Now, there are other options. For example, as we've discussed in other videos, the Thailand elite visa is often utilized by those under 50 to kind of give them the amount of time they need to get over into the fi uh, over 50 category to then roll into a standard retirement visa. Another thing to think about, <clears throat> especially for those who are inclined to possibly work or do business here in Thailand, is possibly setting up a business visa and a work permit and then doing the requisite time necessary in order to accrue the time needed to file for permanent residence. And then once one files for permanent residence, assuming the permanent residence is approved, at that point, you're really done worrying about visas. So in a lot of cases with folks under 50, it may be a good idea to look at that route as opposed to looking at whether or not is it possible to get a retirement visa under 50, because it may be possible to get something better, aka permanent residence, rather than just a standard retirement visa.